What's up guys, Chasing Lamely here and in today's episode of A Working Holiday in the Sun we are playing Welling in the FA Cup in the first live com and the second live com we play Historic in the League before we do that we're going to come back after the intro and I'm going to catch you up on what you've missed so, stick around Llévame donde nací Que a tu lado quiero estar no hay un sitio para mí como mi buen Gibraltar. Okay, guys, so as I said, we are playing Welling and East Thorac today. The first game is coming pretty much straight up. But let's go through what you've missed. So, this is the games we've played since those first two against Woking and Hungerford. We lost 1 0 away to, Bic away to Bill Ricky. So, that's way too hard to say today. Um, Average performances all around. Poor story here. Um, just, just terrible. Just terrible performance. Uh, we have also played Gloucester. Drew one one. Poor story. Got himself a goal, so he's all right. He's he's finally got himself back on the game. Uh, story Edwards and Delico scored to beat Slough uh, at home. They had a man sent off as well. We had a one 0 loss to Bath. Joe Delico having a bad performance there. Beat Truro three 0 with a man sent off. Two for Addy Amy, one for Jordan Edwards, a 2 1 win against Dartford, Delico and Story in the goals, and then finally in the last game, a 0 0 draw with Wealdstone. Nothing massively to report there. Uh, in terms of new players who've come in, we have a few, I believe. Yes. Uh, so we brought in Ethan Kaiser. Um, I just question that. Did we bring it? Was he here when we last met? He wasn't here. Right. Ethan Kaiser came in as a centre half. Um, really good potential. Was at QPR last season. Just brought him in to have some extra cover at the back that I felt like I could rely on. Uh, we brought in Luke Clark to play centre mid. He's become one of our first choice centre mids already, and I really feel like he's going to be something special. He played for Curzon Ashton most recently, but started his career at Preston. Uh, Richie Perrell, who was at Darlington last year, I remember him being at Darlington. Um, central midfielder from Gibraltar. Probably, on the balance of things, Gibraltar's highest potential player. Really glad to have got him. Came in on a free. We'll see if he develops into something useful for this level. And then finally, Alberto Saidi uh, from Bissau, Guinea. Um, joins from North Carolina after a career that's taken to Albania and Portugal. He started in Southampton's academy. Uh, he has come in and Jerome Mascarenhas has gone out on loan to Right Choice and Unity, who are a real team in the Thames Valley Football League Premier Division. Yep. I live in the Thames Valley. Didn't know that was a thing. Um, that's pretty much all you've missed, though. And, of course, in terms of the league table, that before, those performances have put us in 10th. 12 points in the bag. Three behind Concord in the playoffs. But today we are playing Welling. Let's see if we can get ourselves into the third qualifying round of the FA Cup. Welling are currently 20th, I believe, in the... Uh, Conference South. Oh, we've got a scope to pick up two more subs. I forgot that was a thing. That makes me very excited. Um, I need... Probably best we put a goalkeeper on the bench for this one. I don't normally have a keeper on the bench, but for this one, I think we will. And I think we'll look at... Jay Mahoney, maybe? No, that's that's a risk. We're going to go with Tom Ince. We'll put Tom Ince in that spot. Because I like knowing that I've got that cover at left back. And left wing. Anywhere else I need it. Anytime I need it. Um, yeah, let's make sure things are out of order there. Nothing is out of place. Let's get into it. Let's win ourselves an FA Cup game. I'm feeling this, boys. I am feeling this one. Despite the fact it is 2am and 3am. And it's just, just, just not my day today. But it's fine. Uh, in terms of the lineup, we've got Wellings team. Anyone there looks good. Don't know Daniel Mills. Don't know Jack Barham. 
Sanger's making his debut there. Anyone there I do know? Phil Fishno, Anthony Akiampong, and Arno Mendy. He's been around for a while. Yeah, he's done his league time. He's done his league time. That's fine. We'll make it work. Uh, no debutants, no nothing, nothing fancy for us. We're just going to get the job done today, boys. Get the boys fired up and get the job done. I didn't go through the team lineup. That's not like me. I didn't give you guys a team lineup. Pause that. Pause that. I didn't do the team lineup, and I feel I feel dirty. I feel like I've done you guys dirty. Uh, let's do it that way. Tactics. Right. So, uh, Evans and Goal, Wassy, Heath, Kitchen, and Whittingham at the back. Delico, Folks, Clark, the new man, and Williams at left wing. Uh, and then Edwards and Adeyemi, I think it's the first time we've seen either of these guys, um, up top. That's it, that's that's the lineup. Let's actually play the game now. Pouring with rain, that's how we like it. Uh, Whittingham, by the way, really coming along, like rapidly coming along. I feel like he's developing into a top, top player really quickly. And come, <coughs> oh, excuse me, cough starting him. Uh, come at the January transfer window, I think we might have a few people sniffing around him um, he, just, he just looks good every time I see him but that's fine because his backup I think can develop into an even better player he's just not as good yet nothing happening so far let's shout some encouragement Williams is looking a bit nervous so hopefully we'll get that out of him a little bit too looks for the goal kick let's hope this is going straight back towards them Probably isn't. Whittingham's tried to head up, only got it as far as them. Sanger, ball forward there. Finds. Oh. Found Barham. Got it to Danny Mills. Goal. Um, that's awkward, isn't it? Really awkward. Let's. Time to show some passion once we get to the restart. Because there's no. I don't want to be losing to a team who are 10 places below us in the league, even in the FA Cup. I feel like we've got a really good chance to make something of at least getting to the first round of the FA Cup. They're all fired up, they're ready to play now. It's just showing they're ready to play from kickoff. Um, and we'll see what happens. Good, people are reacting positively. Let's see if they react positively on the score sheet. Because really that's what we need. Or for Achi Ampong to get himself sent off. That would do nicely too. Just a thought. Let's demand more. Delico with a free kick. We know he can do magic with this. Oh, he's just put it wide. Just put it wide. Oh, they're feeling pressured. That's not ideal. Have to start looking at some subs soon. First thing I'm going to look at is Luke Clark can come off and have a break. Gus Jess can go on. Not sure if I like him at centre mid, but he is the best option I've got there. Also got to think about Edwards maybe coming off but just because he's been crap. And maybe Williams as well. Um, it's tough making the call about who to sacrifice. Edwards now picks up the ball. Finds Folks. Jess back to Edwards. Oh, came out of nowhere. I thought he was going to try and dink one over the top, maybe ping it out for the man on the right. Nope, just just decided to pop it away. Just decided he was going to put it away. Just didn't, didn't not even a second thought. Banya with a poor clearance. Edwards finds Folks. Folks to Jess. Jess back to Edwards. I thought he was looking to look for a little dink here. Nope, just had a pop. Put it in the net. Probably saved himself from getting subbed, if I'm honest. Um... Yeah, good. good. Back on terms. Back on terms. Just need the rest of the team to kind of catch up. Let's make, it some, make another sub. Uh, Mike Williams, I think, is going to get replaced by Tom Ince. That feels like a solid choice there. Even Wassi is not having a great game either. So we'll stick Kent Edgecombe in. Just hope he's got more ideas to, or more energy to do something. Kitchen brings in Ince into play pretty much immediately. Ince brought down but Jess to Folks. Taking his time, ball over the top, finds Delico. Delico got the cross in, he has, finds Adiemi but way too deep. Ince though, 
Oh, no Whittingham. Can Whittingham get across in? He can, but not to anyone. Folks, Jeffs, Edwards. Another one from distance. Jordan Edwards has scored two absolute blinders today. Two absolute blinders. Like, what has got into this boy? That's almost a carbon copy of the first. He just went for a different corner. Post in beautiful. But, wow. Just two stunning goals. Pretty glad I didn't sub him now. Not going to lie, I'm very glad I didn't sub him. Because he may have just put us through to the next round of the FA Cup. Delico with a free kick. Has a pop. That should be the game, pretty much, I think. 30 seconds to go on the clock. I cannot imagine for a second it's going to go far. Wilkes, long ball, Sanger. Goldberg's got it. Don't score. Oh, he did. Of course he bloody scored. Oh, that means we're going to get a replay that I didn't want or need. Show some passion, boys. That's just an... I mean, the whistle should have gone before the goal kick, let's be honest. But what was the keeper thinking? He was down on one knee before Goldberg had even thought about a shot. He wasn't sure if he was goalkeeping or proposing. That's really disappointing. I thought we'd done enough. Goldberg, frankly, stole that one. And now we've got to do it all again at home. Which means it might just be a double welling day today, rather than anything of particular excitement. It may just be a double welling day. I hope not. I'd quite like to play the game against East Thurrock personally, because I think because they were originally slated as the team that were next most likely to go down. It has been rearranged. We're just going to play welling again in a few days' time, boys. Let's praise Jordan Edwards for his performance, because he did quite well. Um... Yeah, okay. Looks like we're just playing playing Welling again. So, uh, we will cut here really subtly. And then we will come back in a second and do it all again. See you in a sec. Right, guys, it's time for the second leg. Or, I say second leg. The replay of our big game against Welling. We are at home Let's hope we can make that home advantage count. Because not only would it be nice to get through to the next round of the cup, which, by the way, uh, if we were to make it through, I have to find the thing now. There was a news thing. Matches, fixtures, this way? Probably not there. Uh, there was a news report. There was a news report. When was the thing? When was the draw? Monday. Monday was the draw. Monday was the draw, Sunday was the draw. There we go. Uh, we will play Ashford United if we beat uh, Welling. If we beat Welling today, we play Ashford United, who are two divisions below us, I think. Yeah, Ishmael Division 1 is two, two divisions below us, two levels below us. So, we'll see. No changes we made, no messing around. This is our strongest side. I rested them for a day or two just to try and keep them a bit fresh let's hope this does the job I can't imagine really much rotation in the Welling team uh, no concerns, we're just going to go out and do our job that's time to be clinical in front of goal left Jameson, is that excuse? nope, it's just because whatever um, because he's our second choice goalkeeper is the answer so he hasn't started. Okay, we're in the red and black today. Obviously, Welling in the blue. Just want to get through it, really. They've not rested their players well at all. That might play into our hands towards the end of the game a little bit. Jordan Edwards run from the last game, two absolute screamers. If he can repeat that, that would be quite beautiful. Let's encourage the team a little bit. Fire them up. Adi Amy is motivated today. Let's see how motivated he is. Uh, t 25 minutes played. Not a lot happening. Just not a lot happening. Let's show some passion. 
McLeod, ball over the top, Achi Ampong. Come on, someone there, Whitting on the side to get rid of it. Perfect. But there's no one up there waiting to take the ball forward. Jeb running backwards. Running backwards to Daniel Wilkes with the ball. He's going to hoof it and they're going to build something, isn't he? No, that's fine. Clark. Oh, Jeb, I feel like could become a real issue for us today. I just need some defence to go on. Clark. Ball over the top. Adeyemi's on his way through. Can he finish it? Adeyemi. Beautiful save by Wilkes, but he should have done more with that. Should have put it across the keeper rather than straight at him. We've got a corner. Delico. What can Delico do with it? Ball over the top. Oh, tried for the back post to Edwards, but just no chance there. And that brings the highlight to an end. Might be time to make another shout. Let's demand some more as soon as we can demand some more. Luke Clark is booked. That's not something I like, if I'm honest, but... We'll see what can happen here. Um, I mean, if I'm going to make a sub, it'll probably be him that comes off. But I seem to not get sent off before that becomes a thing. I also really need Ali Amy to step up and score a goal for us. That'd be nice. Because he is, in theory, our best striker. And he's not really shown us anything in this episode. Nothing at all. Ah, uh, come on, boys. A little push forward shot. Heath. Edwards. Jordan Edwards. Third goal of the episode. Third goal against Welling for the season. Hopefully that can be the winning goal that, we, that he deserves it to be. Delico. Just out to Heath. He threw to Edwards. Just hit it first time on the half volley. Man's got no fear. Man has no fear. Hoping that push forward isn't misguided. Now Delico with a free kick. It's always close, always close for Delico. Uh, we've got our two centre mids are looking slightly tired, so we're going to replace them. Just feels wise at this point, two games so close together. And then we'll consider whether we take off Kitchen, Whittingham or whoever the fuck else next. Um... Delico now with another free kick. Has a dink. Oh, it's a crossover. Williams was offside, but oh, it's just just unnecessary. Unnecessary. And praise the boys. Just let them know that we appreciate the work they're putting in. Uh, I'm going to take off Kitchen, I think. Richie Prowl really isn't a very good centre-half, but it's, he's the only one I've got on the bench. Um, yeah, I'm just going to make that sub just because, you know, tired legs in the defence at this point could kill us. They set on Goldberg, who was quite good against us last time. He is fully fit, raring to go. I don't want to take too many chances. McLeod hits the post. Still in play, though. Gibbons. Gibbons with a crossover. McLeod, Prowl gets rid of it. Jess now, come on. He's been brought down and that should be in. Oh, Ijaha. Yellow card for him? Yellow card for him. Beautiful times. Ordell. Gets it into to Wasi. McLeod. Back to Mendy. Mendy over to Heath. Delicate. Oh, come on. Someone get rid of it. McLeod. Oh, so close. So close. Jess to Thomas. They're just just playing for time now. Whittingham. Five minutes on the uh, on the on the watch to be added on. Just need to maintain a bit of composure here. I take the classic risk of just putting a concentrate shout out. Although I feel like that's always cost me every time I've ever done it. Whittingham fouls Peral for no reason whatsoever. Jess back to Whittingham. Just keeping the ball. Thomas, Whittingham. Over the top. Adeyemi. He's through. He's rounded the keeper. What a goal. 
What's got a keeper should never have come from that. Should never have come for that. Adeyemi though. It's just beautiful. Whittingham just spots him on a run. Hoofs it over the top. Keepers come out in the middle of nowhere. Adeyemi's dinked it around him and just tapped it away. 2-0 boys. That's us in the next round of the FA Cup. And frankly, given we're playing much weaker opposition next time. Oh, Edwards. Oh. Given we've got much weaker opposition next time, we could even be in the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup and with a real shot of making it to the first round proper in our first season. Which is a really good performance for a conference Southside. Otherwise, really happy with that. Really good performance. Everyone looks happy with, you know, our assistant manager's words because I don't say words, as we know, to the team. And yeah, we are through. Sad we didn't get to see any league play today, but we'll get over it as we always do. A um, little bit of a press conference, let's do a press conference. In that first round, how far can you go? That one, be a bit positive. Uh, draws taking away to Ashford, they want to support disappointed at receiving a tougher fixture than potential home match will present it. It's an assessment you agree with. Uh, I am comfortable with it. Incredible victory for your team today. How pleased with the result. Terrific performance. Joel Whitting was a joy to watch when he plays like that. How happy with his performance. He's terrific. Um, yep. Yep. So, um... I wasn't going to do a full follow the cup run kind of thing. But I feel like if we're going to do a cup run, we'll follow the cup run. We'll be back for the next episode against Ashford. And we might just, because I promised you an East Thurrock game, we'll do the East Thurrock game. So I'm only going to skip one game for the next episode, but then we're going to get into the Torquay game as the next one after that. Barring any excitement in the FA Cup. Right. That, I think, guys, is going to be me for this episode. That, that went badly. I've got that camera set up wrong. That's fine. We'll do it from here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, I have been Chasing Lamely. As always, hit the like and subscribe buttons if you've enjoyed what you've seen and come back for more great FM content or mediocre FM content. Depends how you feel about my FM content. Uh, don't forget as well, still got that competition running to win a copy of FM20. Check out the video feed, check out my Twitter at Chasing Lamely for details on how to enter. Anyway, thank you very much guys and I will see you all very soon. Have a good one.